Hi there tubers, this is the Suburbanator here and I've got some terrible news. Um, I had three different people who do auto body look at this truck and uh, it's done. Body is just done. And I'll start with these fender wells rotting out. See the inner walls got rotted because uh, all the salty snow and water uh, got up in there. Rotted the walls out. In fact, see even behind this rocker panel. Oh, look at that. You may have some wiring exposed. We don't handle this without a tetanus shot. Yeah, look at that. Yep. One of those door sills were giving way. Maybe some rust got up behind these too. I could be wrong. Look at this interior. Still looks brand new though. All the glass is intact. The door shells are good. Paint is just badly faded on the hood. And yeah, I took the emblem as a memento. So, get to the other side of the interior. I'll show you even more rust damage. I mean, this is more than just rust. I mean, it's freaking rotted. I was wondering why these doors were sagging. This tail pan's a part of the floor pan. So, there's more of it. Yep. See, you see that? Yeah, it's getting bad here too. Yep. Yep. Chunks of uh, rotted steel falling off. Well, the interior is still brand new on this. Wasn't even driven that much. Never even hit 150,000 miles. 148, 288.8 to be exact. They're mainly under the seats. I don't know how well it would be caught under the truck. I'm not even going to bother, but... Guess the frame looks decent up front, but right along the corners here, more rust damage here. One of the cross members in the back rotted also. So even the frame was no good anymore. The only the whole drivetrain except the engine's good. As I showed in the other video when I was called the bourbon is dead. Either that head gasket blew or the frickin' block cracked. I'm going to miss this truck. I uh, had it in my family since I was three. My dad bought it new in 91. This was uh, not a common color scheme. They ordered this truck. They did not buy it off the lot. And 91 was the last year of this style. In fact, it was the Suburban that carried uh, the last aspects of the older trucks. Because uh, remember, the pickups were always a little step ahead of the Suburbans. So, while 87 was the last year of the solid front axles on the pickups, the Suburbans kept it till 91. This was the CK platform. Then 92, their fourth generation, they moved to the GMT 400 platform. So that was the first time the Suburbans and the pickups were finally on the same page. So this is the last year for a lot of things. Another thing this is the last year for, uh, the see if you broke an axle shaft on this, you lost the wheel. Well, this is another thing that 91 was the last year that the Suburbans kept a little longer was uh, the semi-floating uh, axles. After 91, all three quarter ton pickups and Suburbans used a full floating rear end, which I think was the Dana 80. These are the Dana 60s. So it was the last year of these as well. And what made ours uh, especially uh, special, these were supposed to use a chrome metal one. Yes, these are fourth generation mirrors. Well, at least intended for a fourth generation Suburban. So, I'll do one final walk around here. It's not that good a walk around. Truck looks like crap, with the exception of the interior.
Yeah, and I had so much fun with this truck in high school too. I had the biggest vehicle in the lot. And of course, as I explained in one of my other videos, this truck uh, even inspired uh, my channel name. So this really will suck. I may or may not film the towing of it, you know, for its final farewell. And I know someone will ask, will you get another one? Uh, probably not. This one was mine. Wouldn't be the same. And even if I wanted to get another one, I couldn't because, well, I need money and I'm still trying to pay off this sorry piece of crap here. Yep, the repairs go on and on with that. But that's for, a, that's for another video. But this truck will be missed. And uh, if I haven't said it any, already in any of my other videos, I'm not a particular fan of the newer trucks. But uh, at least they won't do this anymore, or at least not as easily. What a headliner in this car. I mean, truck. All new. Well, this truck will be missed.